The water ban in Toledo may be lifted, but residents of Cleveland were left wondering, would such an issue happen to us? We spoke with Commissioner of Cleveland Water, Alex Magavichus, to find out how the Cleveland Water Department monitors our water and keeps residents safe. Well, first, I just want to reassure everyone, Leah, that the water in Cleveland um, is safe. It's clean, it's good, and the 1.4 million people who drink our water have nothing to worry about. The water is indeed uh, good to drink. Um, we do a whole bank of tests with our water to make sure that it is um, meeting all conditions necessary to be potable. We do all sorts of other things as well. Um, we uh, monitor uh, satellite imagery um, from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Atmospheric Agency uh, is one of the best ways uh, to monitor what the condition of the overall lake is. Um, and they also issue algal bloom forecasts that we monitor closely to give us an idea of where predicted algae growth may occur. Um, so we're doing all these things to make sure that uh, water condition is good. The Cleveland Water System has been in service since 1856 continuously, um, well over 150 years now. Um, and uh, water quality and the treatment of the water is something that we've been concerned about from day one. Um, for well over a hundred years um, we've been treating water to high level of treatment, um, always going with high industry standards as far as the water quality that we put out. Um, as something that we take very seriously as, an, as, as something that's important to us. Now algae bloom obviously is the main cause of the situation in Toledo. Can you explain to viewers what that exactly is? They may be confused as to how this algae just develops here in our lake. Certainly. Algae is a microorganism that grows um, in lake conditions, water conditions. Um, several factors need to be in place for uh, algal growth to occur. Um, you need sunshine. Um, they consume sunshine to produce chlorophyll as part of their growth process. Um, they need the water environment. Um, generally, they like warmer temperatures to occur. Uh, and they need nutrients. They need food or growth to occur. Uh, and one of the best uh, sources of food for algae to consume in Lake Erie um, is phosphorus. Uh, and that's a condition that greatly differs from what they're seeing in the western basin at Toledo Way versus here. A lot more phosphorus um, due to uh, runoff from fertilizers out in the western basin compared to what we have to deal with here. Watching satellite imagery is just one way experts at the Cleveland Water Department monitor our water. There are four major water treatment plants in Cleveland that make sure residents have safe, quality water. Now something that people that come down to Edgewater might notice is out in our water is a five mile crib. Now can you tell us what this five mile crib does? Certainly. That is one of the intakes for our, our four water treatment plants. Um, this one is um, five miles actually from the Kirtland water treatment plant, but about three and a half miles as the crow flies from the edge of the lake here. Um, over the long history of the Cleveland water system, the intake structures have been moved farther and farther away from shore to get to where the water is cleanest and the most pristine. Um, so the intakes are far away from the influences of human activity, away from the influence of the Cuyahoga River, for example. Water is much cleaner that far out. Um, and uh, the intakes are not right at the surface of the water. They're below surface. The other three plants take nearer to the bottom of the lake. Um, so um, we get the water where it's as clean as possible to get it from in Lake Erie. Now, is there something that residents of Cleveland can do to help keep the water clean, making your job easier? Well, one of the things about the Central Basin is its relative cleanliness compared to the Western Basin. Um, and um, doing any sorts of things to reduce the nutrient deposits into the lake is something that we want to encourage. Um, so there's uh, any number of initiatives that are out there to reduce phosphorus, for example, that may get into the environment are all good things to do. I just, again, want to reassure customers that we're on high notice. Um, we're ready to react if any conditions were to warrant something. Um, powder activated carbon is one of the best ways uh, and we're ready to react and increase dosages there. Changes in how we uh, add chlorine to the water are all things that we do to optimize treatment. So um, we're on top of our game just to make sure that the water is good, clean and safe first and foremost for all of our customers.